Today's reading is, is very serious. The words of Jesus talking about discipleship. It seems like before Jesus explained these conditions that he was very successful. It says great crowds are following Jesus. People were listening to his preaching. They were waiting for whatever miracle that he might perform for them. But yet, as we've been seeing Sunday after Sunday, Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem where we know, and he knew, that he would be suffering his his passion and his death. He knew that these great crowds that were with him, that these great crowds would not be with him when he was crucified, when he was brought before, before Herod and Pilate. They would abandon him. Even some of his closest followers, even his closest disciples. Jesus is helping to understand this. That yes, all of you are called. This kingdom of God is for you. The the call to discipleship is for all of you. But yet, it's something serious. It's something that we need to give of ourselves very fully. It's not something that we kind of fit somehow, now and then, how... You know, whatever's comfortable for us. What Jesus is talking about in in this very, again, serious and forceful way, about even hating our our, our family members, renouncing our possessions, taking up a cross, what is he saying in all of that? Isn't he saying that we need to have that that single-minded focus that this following of Christ, our being disciples, our willingness to give the entirety of our lives, our willingness not to let anything else, whether it be a person or a thing, get in the way of our fully following Christ, being his disciple. And when we look at that in the details of our lives, it is very difficult. It is very serious. That if we don't look upon it in a serious fashion, What happened to the crowds will happen to us. That when the suffering, when the pain, when the the cost of discipleship comes into our lives, that we can easily then disperse with the crowds and not be with Christ in those difficult moments. Or forget that Christ is with us in those difficult moments. That we do not persevere in this journey of discipleship. It's something very serious, and again, we don't like to look at it. It's not easy. But yeah, we exist as a church. We exist as a parish. We exist as families. Our mission is to evangelize. Our mission is to be disciples and to form disciples. But unless we take it seriously, as Jesus is saying, with that single-minded focus, that willingness to put everything else aside, we might not persevere. Today in our church, it's a very special day. A day in which we're recognizing a disciple of Christ that gave her life completely. And now she's being canonized, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. St. Teresa of Calcutta. When she was living on the earth, she was one of the people that Catholics, Christians, and people of all faiths somehow recognized something very special about her, didn't they? They could see in her selflessness, in her complete dedication to taking care of the poor, to being there for those that are dying. People, whatever the faith or no faith at all, saw in her something special. How does her life match up with what we hear in today's gospel? There's many ways, and I can't get into it all in in a short homily. I think a couple ways I'd like to point out is that she lived this radical life of love and a radical life of prayer. Everything she did, all of her works of mercy and of justice, speaking or taking care of the the dying person in front of her or speaking to the powerful of the world, whatever she was doing always was born out of that relationship with Christ. Christ who had called her personally to go to the poor in Calcutta to give her life to them without reservation. But she didn't do that just kind of as as something, you know, apart from that relationship with God, but it was integral. 
Everything in her life flowed out of her prayer. She taught her sisters, and today they do the same thing. That the more work that they have to do, the more struggles that they have, the more they need to dedicate themselves to be with Christ in that prayer. One hour, two hours a day, that's not too much. Because if you are going to show forth that love of Christ to others, you have to be in that constant communication. And the other thing she did, she showed us how to love in that radical way. That's what Jesus is getting at. Not in this way that's self-serving, this way that, that somehow, again, I can fit into my own spaces in life. But giving her life completely. In her own words, she would, she would talk about the importance of seeing God and serving God in, in the... It, it, I, the word just escaped me. I just... <laughs> You ever have those moments? Okay. <laughs> but in his difficult disguises. Because for us it's easy to, to love certain people. It's easy to find God in the beauty of creation. It's easy to see the face of God when we come together in worship. But yet in the difficult disguises that Jesus appears to us, the people that are suffering, the people that are destitute, the people in the streets of Calcutta that were dying, Mother Teresa taught us to how to see the face of Christ in all, in all people. That there's no person on this earth that doesn't have that dignity. And how do we respond to that presence of Christ even in those difficult disguises that Christ can appear? So it causes us to open up open up those, those barriers that we can have, the conditions that we can place in our love and our concern. The cost of discipleship that Jesus is telling us today is difficult. It means that single-minded focus. It means that the giving of ourselves completely, and it means recognizing Christ, not being indifferent, not letting the indifference of the world affect who we are in our relationship with Christ and with our brothers and sisters. And so today, as we once again rededicate ourselves, recommit ourselves to this, to this mission that we have as disciples, let us be thankful for, for St. Teresa of Calcutta. Let us ask for her intercession, that we, like her, can dedicate our lives to serving God in, in prayer and connecting that prayer in her service to recognizing the face of, of, of Christ in all.